Hello, it's time for another instructional video. Okay. This time, let's play some uh, ten ball. Okay. So I put the magic rock here to get used to the feeling of having a magic rack there, even though I never break with it. I just leave it there. So this is a very strange use of the magic rack. So let's begin. So uh, we have ball in hand. Ball in hand is what we have. And what I see here is uh, the five ball is in a tough place. Five ball, it can't pass the nine. I will have to check. Maybe it will. Can it? Yeah, yeah it, it passes the nine, yes. So uh, often when you see a problem like this, you get confused that you think it is, it is diff more difficult now, but it is not more difficult. It is the same because the five will, will pass the nine. It is the same, okay? It is not more difficult now. And also the nine, you may think the nine is in the way so the, you can't have the cue ball here, but why would you have the cue ball here straight in on the five anyway? Because you need to go get to the six. So you need this angle on the five anyway. So the nine being here doesn't really, doesn't really matter, okay? It doesn't make it any more difficult. And the four is here, so you can play position from the four to the five quite easily. So the nine doesn't matter. Okay, so let's begin. Here I want to go from the one ball to the two ball. And I want to stop. Uh, if I have angle on the two ball, is it possible to get to the three ball? I can go around the ten position for the three ball. So that is not a problem. If I if I have this angle on the two ball, it becomes very difficult to get to the three ball. And that is that this is something I don't like, okay? I rather have this angle on the two. So here I hope I will stop uh, maybe straight in on the two ball, but if I come too short, it is good uh, anyway. So here I, I planned I plan for the cue ball to stop anywhere in this area, okay? So let's begin. Let's, let's do that. Yes, that is good. Now I have an angle on the two ball, but I can go around the, the ten ball easily. Just make sure not to use uh, top spin on this shot because if you use top spin, top spin, the cue ball will hit the rail too early, and you will hit the ten ball because of that. So you want to use uh, maybe pure uh, pure right spin and hit this spot on the rail there. Then the cue ball will go there and here for the three ball. So let's do that. So don't don't use too much right spin. You might hit the six otherwise. Okay. Yes, that is good. But 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 I went a little wrong there. No, I did not. I should have used uh, more more right spin there. I was scared of the six ball. I was afraid of, of hitting the six ball. So. Yes, I will use a little more right spin on this shot. Okay, little more right spin here. Uh, maybe a little more top spin also. Maybe hit it a little earlier there. You can do it either way. So, yeah, just need to. Uh, I think it's, it's best to hit this spot on the rail there with more right spin. Okay, let's. Use more right spin. Yeah, that is uh, that is okay, but the scratch is dangerous here. The scratch is dangerous there, so that is that is just something you you need to risk there. That is something you, you need to risk there. So it's quite difficult to uh, avoid both the ten, the six, and the scratch. So that is quite a quite a lucky shot there. You need to you need to do, but. Uh, if you must use uh, luck, then do it early in the rack. Always early in the rack instead of instead of late in the rack. Okay, because if you if you scratch, then the opponent has to run every single ball, and that is uh, that that can be difficult for him. So now 
I want to go from the four ball to the five, so I prefer to be higher up here with the cue ball on, on this side, so I can roll in the four ball. But do I have angle on the three to make it happen, to make the draw? I don't know. I can go this path with the cue ball, but then I will have angle on the four, and I don't like that either, so. I will just uh, attempt to draw back, maybe here. If I'm too thin on the four, I can always go one and two rails for position on this side of the five, okay? So I will do that. Soft draw. Yes, yeah, that is uh, what I expected. Yes, I need to go two rails here, position for the five. Now the problem is that if the balls are clean and the table is clean, uh, the cue ball will slide on the cushion there. So it is more difficult to change the angle to come here with the cue ball. So the cue ball might end up going here, okay? So you, need, you need to be uh, aware of that, uh, that uh, different uh, cue ball um, cleanly, cleanliness. Is, is it called like that? I don't know. Different amounts of dirt on the cue ball affects how far down you can get with the cue ball. So if the cue ball is very dirty, it will grip the rail a lot better and you can go further down with the cue ball. Okay? So let me attempt. I think I might hit the seven there, okay? But if I hit the seven, if I hit the seven on this side, then it, I'm okay because the cue ball will go uh, here closer to the five. So I, I would like that. I, I don't want to hit the seven on this side because then I will get snookered, okay? So this can be a dangerous shot, okay? I, I try to use uh, a lot of right spin on this shot. Yeah, I, I missed it. Let's do it again. It's not good to focus too much about the position. You need to focus on making the, making the ball also. So I will focus on making the ball this time, okay? Yeah, no, this, this is a very difficult job to use inside spin, this is something uh, people need to practice, okay, people need to practice to use inside spin, was it like this, yeah, okay, inside spin, yeah, that is better, okay, that is better, yes, um, yeah, I got maybe, yeah, too thick, uh, no, too thin on the five is what I what I am now. But uh, if the line would be blocking half of the pocket, okay, then this angle is what is preferred because then I can shoot softer. Uh, I can make the five softer with pocket speed to make the ball in the corner. If I would have been straighter in, I would have needed to soft roll it in, and the cue ball would be here, and the six ball there, and, and that is not good. So if you have a, this kind of angle, you can soft roll the five in with pocket speed to uh, improve your chances of making the five ball. So this is really a good, uh, good position on the cue ball uh, here when you, when you can cut in the balls. So now I will just cut it in, play position here with the cue ball. Um, I think the cue ball will go too far, okay? So, if the cue ball will, will stop here, then that is not a good good thing, okay? So what I rather do, I rather I rather shoot one extra rail and come out, okay? That is what I rather do. Extra rail there. Whoa! Why did I hit that too thick? That went. That was too thick there. Okay, let's. Shoot it uh, thinner, okay? Like that. You see, you see that I cheated the pocket there, okay? You see that? If the nine would have been here, blocking half of the pocket, I would still have made the five, okay? Because I hit this point, I hit this point uh, soft, uh, and the five still went in, okay? Uh, so that is why on some shots, on some shots, it is preferred to be thin because you can shoot the ball soft and go to the other side of the table, okay? Here, I will use top spin and left spin 
and, and come uh, into the, into angle on the seven. Okay, so I will do that. I just want to be on the center of the table on the seven. Yeah. Here I stopped in the worst possible place because uh, I have angle on the seven. But if I try to shoot hard to force it in, I will still not come up so far with the cue ball. Okay, I will still not do that. And if I draw it back without hitting the rail, I will stop here. And in both both shots, in both shots, I will be too close to the rail here. And I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. I might, if I stop here, uh, it is a very difficult shot to get to the nine. If I stop here. It is much. It is much easier to get to the line if I'm here. If I'm here, straight in, very difficult. If I'm here, it's still. It is still difficult. Okay. So what I rather do is I accept the angle I have here and make a little. Uh, I make a bigger angle so it is more easy to get to the nine ball. Okay. So I I will be like this. Okay. But the scratch is dangerous there. So you, you need to. Look how far the eight is from the side pocket. If the eight is too too far far away from the side pocket, then you will scratch in the corner. If it is closer to the side pocket, then you won't scratch in the corner. So, so you need to look uh, where the, the balls are. Okay. So I think this is a place where I want to be with the cue ball because then I can use inside spin and change the angle on the sec from the second rail to come up here for the nine. So I will plan. On stopping the cue ball, maybe yeah, I will just uh, make a soft, soft stop shot here. Cheat the pocket, cheat the pocket, so I, so the cue ball wouldn't go too close to the rail here. So you notice that I hit the hit this part of the pocket, and the ball went in. That is called cheating the pocket. You don't need to hit uh, straight in on every shot. Now I have angle on this. On the eight, here I'm, I'm worried about the scratch here. So what I could hit this rail first and come up here with with the cue ball for the nine, or I can go hit this rail first with inside spin and go two rails up for the nine. That is also possible. So it just it depends on the shot what what you will do. I mean, there are three ways to play this shot and. Each, each of them are equally difficult. Yeah, I think it is uh, best to use to go one rail. It is less risky. Less risky of uh, you don't risk the scratch as much if you go one rail here. But position to the, for the nine is more difficult. But you have uh, this large area for the cue ball to stop in. So you, I don't think you need to worry about that. You just need to worry about making the eight ball. Draw and left spin. Yeah, that is, that is good, okay? There was not a big risk of scratching there. So the cue ball could have gone this direction or this direction, a big area. I, it is something very difficult to predict, okay? But I have a good shot on a nine here. Here, many players mess up here when they use inside spin inside spin to go two rails up there okay like I showed you before when I missed the inside spin shot many times when the, the four ball was here cue ball was there I used inside spin I missed it many times and this is something you can miss also if you use inside spin with inside spin you yeah you get better position on the on the 10 but the 10 is close to the corner anyway so you might as well land somewhere anywhere here with the cue ball and you can still make the 10 ball quite easily. You don't need to risk missing the shot when using inside spin, okay? So I rather use uh, right spin and top spin, okay? And shoot soft. Don't shoot this too hard because you might miss the ball, okay? Just shoot it soft with the top spin and right spin. Yeah, you see I hit this cushion first before making the ball, you see? If I had shot that too hard, it would have rattled rattled in the jaws and I would have lost the game but I shot it with pocket speed pocket speed like this it still went in okay
and I, I, I have a long shot on the 10, of course, but uh, th this is quite an easy shot, really. This is not a problem because the 10 is so close to the corner. If the 10 would have been here, then yeah, it would have been a very difficult shot, but not, not now. It is so close to the corner. Okay. I, I just hope I don't miss this now when I sent all that. Yeah, so I made it, okay? So uh, that is the end of my, my video, okay? Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.